Hello all. At some point I got a medium clue. I don't remember when, but uh, we're going to go see if we can do that. In this episode, our goal is to unlock the next area and also unlock the next relic. Then we're going to do a bunch of quests with the 12 times XP modifier and we'll be rolling in it. And unfortunately on step three, it came to Mauritania, which we are not going to do, so we will drop it. Oh, that might be good. Red spiky van braces. Oh, mithril pickaxe. That's an upgrade. So if we trade Elnock Inquisitor times one of any unnoted. So confirm. Oh, yeah. Oh, easy. There we go. Just got 12 jars. Hey, 50... Poro Poro implants. All right, we can turn this in and get the magic butterfly in that and see if we equip it, if it's a task. It's not, but it does increase your chance to catch implants. So if we do a lot more, that'll be good. I also got an easy clue, which we can do. So we'll do that. Should be big XP as well. 9,000 and 40 farming. Pretty good. All right, after completing a bunch of random easy tasks, we now have 140 tasks completed and we are able to unlock our next area, which is going to be as Garnia. Let's take a quick look here, see if there's anything. Yeah, you get the God Wars. We're also gonna be able to get Void, which will be pretty cool. A few quests completed. All right, let's do it. I just want to see how see how many quest points. So 72. Won't be too many, I don't think. Eighty-one, yeah, nine quest points. But cool. We have a lot more stuff we can do now. So we worked away at getting fifty agility so that we could do the rogues den and get the full rogues equipment. We also are trying to unlock the next relic, which we're only 260 points away. This should give us 50. And when we get the full of rogues, full of rogues equipment, that'll be another 100 points. So we'll be pretty close after that. And yep, there goes 50 points. Perfect. And we were able to do the first one after one failed attempt. And we did not get a piece, but I'll we'll keep going. Safe two. Hey, first piece. I want a piece of rogue equipment. Very good. Let's keep it going. Number three. Oh, oh no. Number four. Nope. Number five. Yeah, second piece. Number seven. Nope. Number eight. Number nine. Hey, another piece. Two more to go. Number 10, I think. I think it's 10, or maybe the last one was 10. Anyways, oh no. Number 12, back to back to back. But first we have number 14. And a rogue kit. Oh, 
I've lost count as to how many. 16, maybe? Tried changing it up. Yes! Now we're going to take a... <laughs> I almost clicked the wrong thing. And boots. One more to go. All right, hopefully the last one here. Ah. Last piece. Hopefully the last piece. Nope. Hopefully the last one here. Yes, <laughs> finally. Yeah, I'm gonna go check the bank to make sure I pick the right one. <laughs> All right, so I think we just need the gloves here. And when we equip this, there we go. Full rogue outfit, took about two hours, but that's not too bad, I guess. We are currently just 10 points away from getting our next relic, which will get us the 12 times XP modifier. Completing an easy clue is an easy task, which would give us 10 points and we're able to do it there. Also, something that's pretty cool is this beginner clue is actually in pretty much the exact same spot as the easy clue. So we'll open the beginner clue first. Oh, Jester Cape, that's another unique. It's worth around 96K, wow. Let's take a look at that, it's pretty cool. Not too bad. And this will give us our next relic. Staff of Air and Steel Pickaxe, pretty garbage, but completing an easy clue. And if we go into relics, we are now able to unlock the next one. We are going to be going with Unnatural Selection. I think this one is just way stronger, especially for Slayer, but the fact that uh, the superior creatures always drop a clue and they have a one in 25 chance of spawning makes it just ultimately way better than the other one. So let's go ahead and do this and get our 12 times modifier and then we can start leveling up some of our skills. There we go. All right, so once we talk to Spear here, we will complete our portion of interest quest. It's our first quest after the 12 times modifier. So I think we get 12,000 Slayer XP, yep. Pretty good. That was a medium task, interesting. So let's see. Took us up to 33 Slayer. And now we can get our first Slayer task, which we get to choose. And I'm just going to see. Well, you we can take Cesar already. It's pretty good. Ooh, Chaos Truths. I might go do that. Get some herbs. Yeah, that'd be good. 111 Chaos Truths. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, I think there's a bunch of stuff we can get for, if we trade her, we can buy a spiny helmet and equip that as a task. I believe, yep, equipped a spiny helmet. Oh, we also got base 30 now, very good. A lot of tasks coming, look at all those tasks. Wow, uh, what else is there? Do, do, do. I think we can buy this and if we check, that's a task. Yep, check your Slayer task. Another one is to equip a Bug Lantern. I don't know. Nope, you don't have to light it, so that's good. It's another one. I think that might be it for now, but that was quite a few tasks that we were able to complete there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tasks in a short period of time. And I believe it looks like once we get Slayer up to 40, we'll have base 40 as well. Very good. So I found what seems to be a pretty good method to get Slayer points pretty quickly. You just select your tasks as being spiders, and then you come here in the Tree Gnome Village maze, and there's 11 level 1 spiders that you can usually one-shot. 
and you don't get very much Slayer XP, of course, but when you can go through these really quick and just get your Slayer points up, it'll be really good. Might just sit here until we get um, pretty much all the unlocks we need. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. The room couch. Very good. And put these rooms in there just for fun. I did the math, and we're going to have to do somewhere around 100 tasks to get everything that I want. But this is going very quickly, so we're just going to keep at it. We are now able to get our next reward, the next big one, which is the herb sack. <laughs> I guess not. We need level 58 herb lore to do that, and we are only 50. So we'll come back to that one later. We'll get our points for it. So we should be able to do actually everything else. So we want ring bling. And Browder Fletch and Bigger and Batter. And I think that's all that I want right now. Do, 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 do. I think we can choose Cesar anyways. Oh, but we can make it change to Jad maybe. So that'll be good later. But uh, for now, we'll just get back up to 750 points and then we'll uh, get our Herblor up and get it later. We were doing the kudos and we got an antique lamp. I'm not sure how much this is going to give, but using it on herb lore, of course. 6,000 XP. That's not bad. 51 herb lore. So I believe once we talk to Curator, did we complete the task, maybe? Yes. All of the easy diary. We also have another lamp here. Once again, herb lore. 12,000 for that one. That'll take us to 52. All right, we completed this. Got the body armor, but more importantly, another lamp for Herblore, which will hopefully get us closer to 50. Well, it will get us closer to 59. But we got to 54. So we're definitely going to need at least the uh, medium one for that as well. Get just a little bit of XP. But more importantly, when we go down here, we will complete the medium diary, medium Varrock diary. Get our medium rewards and put this in our blur. Hopefully, it'll get us to 59. Probably won't, but it should be close. 58, only 1.7k. That's easy. That was 90,000 XP. Amazing. All right. We are going to get lots of attack XP here, which will give us over 60 attack to wield the Dragon Scimitar. 61 attack, and we didn't get any other levels, but very good. And we are finally able to unlock the Herb Sack and purchase it. Still have almost 300 points left over. So we'll probably use it on this when we're ready to do a JAD task because we'll probably get a lot of extra Slayer XP, but that'll be uh, upcoming.